Hey guys, I'm Lucky back here for the video. Guys, we have new stuff in the game today. We have new chemistry solos. But before we get into that, we're going to go with question of the day. And this is going to be how many packs have you opened this year in month 18? Comment your answer down below. I can't wait to see how many packs people have opened. I know there's people who pull way more packs than me. So, you know what? I'd love to see that. With that in mind though, we do have tier 5 of chemistry. So, this is what tier 5 gives you. So, everyone understands. Tier 5 gives you plus 2 to every stat for each chemistry. For example, Go Deep gives plus 2 to run block, release, throw deep, throw power, spec catch, and uh, play action. This is the same for every chemistry on offense and defense. All offensive chemistries will have 6 stat categories receiving plus 2. All defensive chemistries will have 3 stat categories receiving plus 2. Toughness will have four stat categories receiving plus twos, as well as plus one speed and plus one tackle. Physical front would give plus two to block shed, hit power, and tackle at tier five. Um, so thank you so much to PJ Sasko for going ahead and sending me information because I did not see that. I did not see EA post that. So that is going to be very very interesting. Now of course we do have some new players in Jared Goff. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little fast. We have Jared Goff, 94, and then of course the 94 uh, Ultimate Tradable version. Just like always, guys, you have two different versions. You have the Ultra NAT version and the Ultra One Tradable version. The Masters is going to be Jared Goff and Demarcus Lawrence. So if you want to get the 96, you can't go ahead and sell him. Um, obviously, you have to keep him. So if you get the 94, you can sell him. His prices will vary depending on how fast you get this done. We also have some new power up cards in the game with Mr. Melvin Ingram. Uh, Kaleshi Assembly, which actually is interesting. They let you use the, um, what's it called? They let you use the Master Card from the re uh, replay promo, which is kind of interesting because I thought you couldn't because he was a Raven. So it looks like they helped out people, you know, who did go ahead and complete that. And, eh, kind of nice. Very, very nice. We have Pierre Garçon. I'm actually kind of surprised, though, because it is EA Sports. Not trying to really, like, take too much shots at them. But something like this, like giving us Clutch Your Assembly power up, isn't something they would normally do. Just because of the fact that he was a Raven, his car was a Raven, not a Raider. But kind of surprised to end up doing that. And again, we do have some new solos in the game. So tell me down below what you guys think. Are you going to go ahead and grind these solos to get the uh, 96 overall DeMarcus Lawrence or Jared Goff? Are you going to get the 94 or 96 one? Are you going to keep them or are you going to sell them? Love it here down below. To be honest, looking at this card, it does actually look pretty OP. So I'm probably going to get him and keep him. Um, Actually, no, I'm not. I just realized I have Javion Clowney powered up and I have Brandon Graham powered up. Kind of can't go with this DeMarcus Lawrence unless I want a third piece. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.